What's up, everybody? Promise here with another episode of Magic Duels Origins and uh, Zen Battle for Zenikar. Wow, and I even uh, smacked the uh, the desk a couple times. <laughs> wow, we're off to a good start today. What a start! What a start today. A couple comments from uh, some people. One guy got into uh, rank forty, so congratulations to you, sir. I know I already congratulated you in the comments, but I'm just gonna go ahead and congratulate you again because. You got there a lot faster than I did. <laughs> a lot faster. You probably played more than me. Uh, I would I would hope you did, because if you only played, like, you know, 10 minutes of it and got to rank 40, I'd be very sad. Ugh. But yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I think um, I think red deck wins is, is the way to go. Um, I didn't really put as much removal in here as I thought. This is unkeepable. Way too many lands. Holy crap. All right, that's, that's a lot better. And I'm not going first, so... we. And he's got a one-drop. Excellent. Excellent. I'm fucked. <laughs> That's not entirely true. I got, I got removal for it. Unless he's that white... Mono-white auras. Uh, and then he gets out of the range of the Twin Bolt. Let's hope he doesn't. Him going first, if, if he drops an aura on there, I'm... That, that, like, gets it out of range of Twin Bolt, I'm just dead. Oh, no, he's not mono-white. But he can still, yeah. All right, that that's less bad. <laughs> it's not as bad. I can handle some of this. But yeah, uh, me going first. That's what happens when I don't go first. <laughs> that's just bad news bears. I have not, and he's even watching damage effects. Oh my god. I I have not had a break on going first in a long time, man. Um, I'm gonna leave that twin bolt open. I'm, I'm really scared of an aura getting down on that guy. And I'd love to be able to two for one him. So, nope, he's just swinging in first. Um, I think I'm going to take this and just see what he does. If he has another creature. I I mean, I might be, I might be overestimating his skills right here. Uh, no, I'm not. That's, that's great. That's fucking fantastic. There we go. <laughs> He's a good guy. He just left dam damage effects on. All right, that's that's okay too. Um, sure, why not? Sure, why not? I mean, I'll take two damage to take care of two of his cards. If he's trying to out aggro me, I think I'll win. Even even if I'm going second, but if he has more than just aggro under his sleeve, I might be in trouble. Okay, well, that's not the best, but not the worst either. Um, a part of me kind of just wants to firecraft that thing. Holy crap. Okay, well, let's just have her ping him right now. And I am actually going to firecraft, because I think Chandra does more damage than the firecraft. I think. Oh, wait, I can't flip her, though. God damn it. Maybe that was the wrong move. Boy, I misplay. I love me my misplays, guys. I should have called to the full moon. That's what I should have done. Bad news. Oh, well. That's what I get. That's what I get for being dumb. Oh, well. Um. Okay, so next turn... Yeah, it's going to be called the full moon. And he's stuck on two lands. Which, I, I mean, he, he I'm, I'm feeling like a strong aggro vibe from his deck. Oh, hey, there's that new card I just put in. Nice. Uh, call on you. Bow show. Wow, I... Did I just miss the trigger already? I did, didn't I? Son of a bitch. I totally missed that trigger. Okay, whatever. Chandra always... She just... She freaks me out, man. I don't know how to deal with her. I don't know how to deal with her. She's complicated. She complicates me. Wow, he took the whole thing. Okay. I mean, I guess preventing one damage. What's the point? And let's flip a Chandra. Let's flip a Chandra. Now, the real question is, should I go for his face, or should I take care of that creature? 
I'm going to take care of that creature. Again, I don't want Auras to take that thing out of, out of range. And even if he just has, like, some removal, he can smack my uh, Street Denizen and then and then uh, hit my Chandra for a bit. Not sure what he could do, but I'm not happy. Well, he's less happy, so that, that works. <laughs> he's less happy. Yeah, this guy is definitely some kind of aggro pile. I don't think I like it. It's like... I mean, he did get stuck on lands. What's he got? He's got a whole... Like, all the small creatures. That's not... I don't think that's really enough to win. Uh, don't mind if I do. Let's see, what's the best move here? Uh, this will be the most damage. Actually, I'm a, I'm a little bit of a dilemma here. I kind of want to put down this, and that's what I'm going to do. And I'm still going to swing in. Yeah, I'm still going to swing in. Fuck this. Fuck the world. Alright. So that tells me that either the AI doesn't like uh, being at that low health, or they don't have an aura of some kind. I figured that he'd have some kind of auras, but he doesn't have shit, does he? Is this deck just pure small creatures? Because that's not good enough. I'm not really sure what's going on here. I'm still very confused. But, uh, this might be game. So I don't think I care. Alright, well, that was game one. Um, that was easy. I think. I think super easy. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, that's not game. Shit. Poops. Oh, well. <laughs> I need one more. One more. Um, I will leave... I, I will leave that out. I don't... I don't want to lose my, uh, Call of the Full Moon. Yeah, this guy definitely got mana screwed. But he has a ton of small creatures, so I figured that's just what he does, you know? What am I doing? I'm trying to even him out. Thank you very much. I'm trying to be graceful. Thank you. If I had swung in, he'd be at negative one. This way, he's at zero. All right, Fern and Handy Dandies. Sorry, buddy. Maybe you just got land screwed or something. I have a hard time believing you just got land screwed. I have a hard time believing that because he had a, a ton of small creatures, so I really feel like that was an aura deck. He just didn't get the auras or it didn't give him a, enough time or something with the auras. I, I, I don't exactly know what happened, but he didn't. He, that deck did not perform the way it's meant to. That, that much we know. Or maybe it did. And if it did, that would be sad. Because that would be a sad deck. Mmm. Jan... Jandrew. It's like Andrew, but he was born on January. So now he's Jandrew. Um, I go first. Alright, this is, this is keepable as long as I'm going first. As long as I'm going first, I can make this work. We've got a long way to go, you guys. I'm, oh man, I might split this up with some other with some other decks here and there. I know I said I want to just grind straight out to uh, 40, but hoo wee, taking a toll on me, man. Taking a toll on me. Uh, I think I'm going to tighten strength right here. Whoopsies. Let's just get that damage going. Screw the world. Um, I'm looking for creatures right now, so I'd rather not pick that up. I have a I have a twin bolt that can do almost the same thing, and I think I'd prefer that. But I want to get a fatter board, especially since he's playing some removal colors. I mean, white's got a bunch of removal, red's got some uh, a pretty good removal too. Uh, black also, and there it is. That's that's what I'm talking about. That's why I want the creatures, man. That's why I needs what I gets. You know what I'm saying, son? Creature. That's creature enough for me. Okay, we'll play it. Not playing the mountain first to see if this guy gets me a mountain, and then and then I'll just play it. Hello. Boy, that's confusing. Did you just break? Uh, that's not a mountain. 
And I can play it, too. Awesome. Perfect. You know, I asked for creatures, and I got creatures. That's that's really nice. That That's the way you want to play Magic, you know? You really... The, the top strategy is to ask your deck very politely uh, to get you what it wants, or what you want. And then it'll just deliver. Like, uh, right now, I'm feeling like I want a, um, a, a turn for Grizzlebrand. So all I have to do is just ask very politely to my deck, and I'll get it. Oh. Oh. Well, you know. You win some, you lose some. Whatever. The point is, let's get in there. <laughs> Ooh, four damage. Taking down a 12. Waiting for some lands. Um, I'm feeling good about that include... Uh, what the hell is this thing called? This... This, this guy. Molten Vortex include. I don't know how I feel about two of them. I like one of them, but I never see it. And I've had it in my deck for a long time. I know I, I used to have this guy in here way long time ago when I first made this deck. And then I cut him for some other crap that I never I used even less. And now I got uh, Molten Vortex right back in there. So, I don't know. I, I feel like it's probably one of the better ones. Because it really helps make use out of those extra lands. Because honestly, beyond three lands on the board, I'm I'm there's it's just nothing. There's no point to it. I either want like three or six lands, and everywhere in between and above is completely wasted. All right, this guy's taking a second. He's thinking about it. He's got a twin bolt. If you if you have a twin bolt, you win, man. Double strike. Okay. Uh, I have an answer for that. Taking another four. Going to, what is that, eight? Ooh, I have two answers to that, actually. They both go to the face. Yeah, Twin Bolt's got, yeah, it's got to be Twin Bolt. He's probably upset. I would be upset. Double Strikers. Ooh, I wonder if this is that Double Strike deck that I made a long time ago. It's probably not exactly that deck. Let me take a look at what he's got there. Um, it could be. It could be. I don't know. Let's see what else he's playing. I haven't really seen a whole lot. Which makes me think he's got, like, more late game stuff. Or maybe he's got a bunch of auras, actually, and he hasn't been able to put them down because I keep smacking his creatures around. That is a possibility. Uh, is he leaving? He might be leaving. He's probably dead, like, real soon. <laughs> He's, this is not looking good for him. Uh, actually, he is dead. Uh, unless he put... He needs to put down a creature or remove one of my guys. Or both my guys. Uh, because Exquisite Firecraft uh, does four damage, and then my creatures will do another four damage. And I think four plus four is you dead. So never add four and four, because you'll die instantaneously. Don't do it, guys. Stay in school. All right, is he just waiting me out, then? Or is he actually thinking? Come on, man. Are you serious? Are you being salty, or are you just, like, really thinking about this? He's got a lot of cards in hand. So, I think he might just be thinking. He might just be, like, wondering... Or, like, trying to put things together. And, like, putting me on, like, uh, some removal or something. But... I don't know. If that timer keeps going, I'm gonna be... A little more under the impression that he's just trying to waste my time. Which is just sad. That's literally sad. Dude, it's a it's a children's card game. I mean, <laughs> relax, man. It doesn't matter. You, you are not any less of a man for losing at a card game. Don't worry. That timer is not moving at all, is it? Alright, I gotta do this old thing where you put the cursor next to the loading bar. And see if it like gets any if it moves around or anything. Is it moving? It doesn't look like it's moving, does it? I think it's just stuck there. Do we just break the game? Do I just like deck out for a little bit? What happened? Is he just wasting my time? I think this guy's just wasting my time. Uh yeah, alright. I think he's just wasting my time. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's see what he can do. You got a Twin Bolt or something? You got a Twin Bolt? Let's see what you got. Mm, nothing. You're dead. Okay. Well. Sorry, Jandrew. 
Um, I guess he took it like a man. He didn't leave, did he? Or maybe he did leave and it just didn't tell me. But then I would have thought that the AI would have done something different. But whatever. Hey, I got enough for a pack. Let's uh, let's do game number three first, though. Let's do game number three first, so we can open the pack at the end of the at the end of the episode. And see if I got those goddamn snapping gnarlids. What is with this avatar? Ugh, I... My freaking... The the thumbnail for my video is going to be this avatar, isn't it? Oh, it's so stupid. I hate this avatar. It's like... It's so lazy. Just, just look around, man. Pick something fun. Don't just get the same damn thing. Ugh, default sucks. Default should be something random, don't you think? That's a lot of one-drops. Holy crap. Um, I don't, I don't like it. I'm gonna, oh, damn, damn, damn. Well, game three is a loss. <laughs> wow. Wrong button. Wrong button. I really don't like this hand. Um, th there are two creatures, but I need, actually, I have a Titan Strength. Maybe I can make this work. Molten Vortex is pretty much dead because I need more than three lands to make that worthwhile. Oh, you're going to start with a Jace already? Jesus. Uh, I think I might just fire Impulse then. Yeah, I am exact. that's exactly what I'm going to do. Why would you just throw a Jace out there? You're crazy, man. You are just crazy, old Maurice. Wow, you got a lot of cards. 65. <laughs> and that's what's left. Holy crap. That's, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Please tell me you're not mono blue. More than 60 card deck mono blue. What the hell? Like, what even happened? On this day, we have chosen something. Well, let's see if, uh, if you figure out what a trap is. You did. All right. Congratulations. You are at least not stupid. <laughs> Man. Um. Hmm. No, I still have Titan Strength open. So that's what I'll do. If he swings in. Unless he's got some kind of removal. Uh, okay. I mean, I guess you're mono blue. You went all in there. Nope. I'm not doing shit here. Don't know why I paused there. That was silly of me. Okay. Now I got three open. Hmm. Well, I'm still swinging in for one. Let's see what he does with that. Probably nothing. Well, I'm buffing him, because then I can take him out with the, uh, the fiery impulse. What are you gonna do? You gonna, you gonna bounce him back to my hand now? Scatter to the winds. Counter spell. Okay. I, sure. Shit, dude. Sure thing. I will take that counter spell. You betcha. You betcha. Uh, gonna hold off on the Molten... F uh, fuck it. No, I won't. I'll put it down. Let's see what he does here. Oh, look at that. You're dead. You done lost it. Why is my graveyard sparkly? That's stupid. <clears throat> okay, so he's going Thopter time. Uh, that means I'm going to keep my Twin Bolt open for a bit. Uh, Carol Keep will definitely come down right now. And I will do a pre-combat just to see if I get a, like another Titan Strength or something. Because then I'd rather use the Carol Keep's Titan Strength. Uh, no, I get nothing. Okay, well, considering you know he's tapped out, I'll just do this pre-combat. And then swing the ding dong in. Hmm. Do I want that? Okay. Eh, I don't know. Eh. That was kind of weird. It's a little late for that card. 
I'm not sure. Whatever. He's at 11. He's watching damage effects. He's countering pump spells. He's playing more than 60 card decks in a single color. <laughs> he is... This guy is being boss as fuck right now. Boss as fuck. Can't stop it. Glory Chaser's definitely coming down because all three of these guys now uh, will be able to let me kill his 2-4. All three of them. I kind of hope he blocks the uh, street denizen. Yeah, all right, good. Poppity pops. Because that way I get to do an extra damage with him with my prowess. Ping pong, motherfucker. You, you done got jacked, son. You do draw a card, though. But you draw a card out of a plus 60 card deck, so... Whatever. <laughs> the odds of that being what you need are somewhat low. Somewhat low. Speaking of somewhat low, uh, I need more damage on the board. I need, like, some auras or something. A land wouldn't be bad, either. Like, honestly, almost... Oh, that's a bad card for me. Oh, wait, it can't ever get lifelink. <laughs> it can't ever do anything good. It's just a 1-3. Okay. Okay. Let's see what I get. Uh, that's great. Yeah, that's fucking fantastic, actually. I think I'm just going to hold back on my Goblin Glory Chaser. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I mean, I guess I don't have to. I don't have to. I, I won't. Forget it. Because it'll still deal a damage to him. No matter what happens. No, it's not a glory chaser. A goblin arsonist is what I meant to say. Sorry. Being silly. Alright. Go for it, man. Take that shit. That's probably the worst block he could have done. But, whatever. It's good. Now it has menace. I mean, I was going to get menace anyway. You're dead as hell, man. You're dead as hell and you've done no damage to me. I am so sorry. Um... Listen, uh, if for whatever reason you watch this video, um, don't do what you did. Don't Less than 60 cards. Try to go into two colors because there's not really enough in any one color to justify it. Um, yeah, he's gone. Just, I don't, I don't know, man. I, I feel like I can't even like help this guy because it's just... When, when you go so far down the rabbit hole... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta learn how to walk before you learn how to run, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to make fun of this guy. He's, he's, like, probably just new to magic in general. But, uh, whatever. Anyway, live and learn. That'll do it for this episode, fellas and ladies, if there are any ladies. Oh, wait, no, it won't. No, I'm, I'm, I'm a total liar. Uh, I have a pack to open. I have a pack to open. And I have a massive, disappointing grunt to emit when I don't get my Snapping Gnarlid. So let's get that Grunt ready. Alright, I got it right here on the back burner. It's ready to go. Alright, we got it. No Snapping Gnarlid, right? Let's do it. There it was. That's right. No Gnarlid. Never a Gnarlid. Culling Drone is a weird one. It's just a bear that can ingest, really. It, it does make me want to make a, um, actually a, a blue red in, in, a blue red devoid deck, but actually I think in this, in this format, blue black, or uh, black red might be better with devoid, but whatever, we'll find out. I don't like any of these cards. All right, guys, I will see you in the next episode. You will see me in the next episode, and that will do it for this episode. Goodbye, friends.